Well, I guess we found a bar. We can actually look around the bar for a sec. It looks like we can play billiards. I'm definitely not going to do that right now. Any other mini games? Do we have darts? We totes have darts. We're playing darts. You know I'm playing darts, bro. You are not in possession of a darts live membership card. Yeah, I don't have one, bitch. This handy little card lets you keep track of your darts results. We give them away free to our customers. Oh, okay. Then give me one. Here you go. Cool. If you look at the card, you'll notice that you can set the player name displayed during game. So please take a moment to do that. Okay. I guess you could actually, like, have a leaderboard. That's probably why they have this. Anyway, that's my name. Oh, can I not have a... Sp do I, I, I bet you I can't... Oh, fuck you. I bet you I can't have a space. No? Oh. I don't know why. What the fuck? But anyway, we're done. Thanks. Don't mention it. Now, enjoy your game of darts. Sweet. You can play one of our employees if you'd like. I will play Kota Hatano to learn how to play. It's not that I like darts better, Frog. I like it better in video games. Billiards in video games are not the best. Darts in video games can be fun, though. Oh, one game it is. Which number will it be? Uh, we'll go to 301. We won't go high on easy mode. All right, then. Let's do it. How to play a one. The players attempt to reduce their score from a fixed number until they reach zero. Yep. Yeah. Okay, it's this game. You bust if you under zero, at which point your player gets points to play. Your points for, yeah. Player, first player, exactly the end. Signed the number of round wins. Okay. New player reaches zero, and then a lot of rounds. Player, okay, got it. Both the bullseye and double bullseye are both 50. I wish you the best of luck. All right, here we go. Sir. I probably should have read the actual Sir. buttons. Let's do this, Kiryu chan. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Well, that was a terrible start. Luckily, we're playing the terrible, terrible uh, player. Just aim is the L stick, and that's it. I wish it was just a throw button, to be honest, but oh well. He's beating me by two points, guys. Damn it. Is it because I'm not holding it down? So I'm throwing it weak sauce? Like, I don't understand. Terrible start. I'm just trying to get used to how this throws. Okay, that went high, which is fine. Damn. I cannot get it going on this, man. I suck. Fuck off. I got two more rounds to get some points here. I need to get... I don't think I can get 220, too, but I can try to get the lowest amount. Damn it. Well, I got triple. Why does he keep going to the side so much? Why well, I barely tied his score after four rounds. Jesus. Doing Terry Blade. If I could just get some bullseyes, I'd be able to win. Maybe I'll also aim for the 20s. Final round. Why? How does it go so far up? 
Wow, I'm just flabbergasted by how bad that was. I might win if he does terrible, but doubtful. Wow, maybe. Wow, I think I won, sadly. <laughs> that was fucking sad. All right, I actually hate how the darts control in this game. We're we're done here. I actually hate how it controls. Unless there's a mini game where I have to or like a whatever, something where I have to play darts. No thank you. Also, hey, did I find myself a girl finally? As far as being a hostess goes, she might be a good fit. Let's see here. Found a girl finally. Hello. She doesn't seem like a talker, and I doubt she knows all that much about the world, but I can tell she's very diligent. Maybe I should approach her. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. Okay. Let's see what I can come up with. Hello there. Huh? What? Oh, you were talking to me? Yeah. Sorry if this is coming out of nowhere, but I find you absolutely fascinating. Can I have a moment of your time? <laughs> you may. What do you want to talk about? I'd like to introduce you to a job I think is perfect for you. Oh? Are you a recruiter for one of those cabaret clubs? Yeah, I am. At a club over on Hatsumachi. That does sound somewhat appealing. I mean, I could always use the work. Well, what are we waiting for? Show me what this club is, or show me this club of yours. With pleasure. Oh, and the name's Kiryu. Kazuma Kiryu. All right then, Kazuma Kiryu. You can call me Joe. I'm 21 and I love to garden and I'm licensed in CPR. Anyway, that's me in a nutshell. Take it or leave it. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Welcome to our club. We specialize in helping our hostesses reach the top of the industry. But first, we need to decide on a stage name for you. Something that would fit the persona you want to project. Yeah, fuck that. You're not going to be Joe. You're going to be... Hokey motherfucker! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> if you've seen Next Friday, you know where that joke comes from. I kind of want her name to be Hokey motherfucker now that I just made the joke. You know what? I don't have a better name anyway, so... Oh, okay. I'm just gonna call her Ho Kim then. Fuck it. Ho Kim, motherfucker! Ho Kim, huh? That's a good name. From now on, you'll use that while working at the club. Awesome. I'm very much looking forward to this. All right. Let's get you changed into that outfit worthy of your grace and charm. See? As soon as you walk out that door, you'll be born, reborn as a head-turning queen of the night. Oh, shit. Y'all ready to make... That girl hot, though? Oh, she. Beautiful classic standard one piece, revealing, but classy. All right, we're going to fucking play dress up with this BZ. Um, I honestly, personally, I kind of like the purple one best. She's only 21. I think, like, Something a little more fun and light, because she's only 21, is a good idea. So let's go with the One Piece. She shimmers, y'all. Oh, yeah. Killing it. Look at that motivation. Killing it. Oh, is that the new girl? Yeah, and you are? I'm Aya. Ah, and you must be the new guy. I guess that makes me your senpai. Hmm. I suppose I should teach you the tricks of the trade to help this job go smoothly. Otherwise, I wouldn't be much of a senpai. Now, would I? I feel like her face is messed up. Like, they didn't do a good job making this girl, like, look good in this remastered graphics. <laughs> anyway, so when it comes to doing well as a hostess, remember, cus satis customer satisfaction is everything, right? Customer's king. Right. That's why it's important to get a grasp on the customer's preferences and do your best to satisfy them. You should be able to get an idea of what the guests want when you walk the floor. Anyway, just get out there and see what you can learn. Use your eyes and ears. So you're saying that I should gather information and coordinate Ho Kim's attributes and appearance. That way she can better satisfy the customers. Yup. Heh. <laughs> Am I being a little too much? Either way, do your best and don't get stressed. Both of you guys. Okay. Sure. 
Get a feel for your customer's preferences by walking around the club, then return to the break room and coordinate your hostess to fit their ideal image. All right, time to hit the floor. Let's go learn, shall we? Let's go learn about the peeps. Doop doop scuba doop deeps. Hokeem doesn't have any, seem to have any customers. Oh, that's my girl right there. We need to help it out. All right, what's up, dude? Done with your inspection, Kiryu-san? Let's talk strategy. What would you like to know? Uh, about the procedure. Tell me more about basic procedure. The way our club works is fairly straightforward. You go out on the floor, pick up the customer vibe, and use the information to spruce up the lady of the evening. Do that three times, and that's considered a service round. Then you'll get your results. And then it's on to the next one. Now remember, our revenue depends entirely on how our guests perceive your time here. So we need to work in concert with our staff to satisfy their every need and want. Make sense? What would you like to know? Inspection. Basically, you'll be walking the premises and getting a feel for the clientele. It should be easy for you to tell what type of hostess they're in the mood for just by listening. Some customers go solely for appearance. Others prefer a certain area of proficiency, a service stat, if you will. The takeaway here is that our customers won't always want the same thing. That's what makes inspection so critical. Moreover, our customers might have multiple preferences, so it's important to decide which preference they prioritize as well as take other, more subtle factors into consideration. What would you like to know? Coordination. Tell me more about coordination. So you can have the girls coordinate their clothes, makeup, accessories, and other things to give off a particular vibe. Of course, items and makeup that have already been provided by the club are free to use. Anything else, we'll need to pay it for up front. I'm sure that goes without saying. And again, this should be obvious. Any expenses we incur will be deducted from the to total club revenue, rightfully so. Now, clothes and accessories can be swapped out over and over again, but please be aware you'll have to pay each time a hostess gets her hair or nails done. Beauty's not cheap now. Okay. However, mixing and matching certain clothes and cosmetics can lead to surprising results. I guess you'd call them bonus effects. Anyway, try as many combinations as you can. What would you like to know? I'm done for now. Thank you. Well, ask me anytime you have any questions. I'll be happy to give you the answer. Okay. Okay. I want a nice, gorgeous girl in my lap, says some guy. Any gorgeous girls around here? I want a nice girl just girl with someone on my lap. Okay. She should be drop dead gorgeous. I don't even know which guy is saying that. How do I, uh... Do I go back and strategize? What do I do during this section? I'm confused. He wants to be floored by how gorgeous the girl is. That's cool. I want to be floored by how the fuck you play this mini game. I'm so confused. Do I talk to him again? What do I do when I'm... I'm hella confused on what it wants me to do. Check my phone, please. Uh, sure. Well then, um, that sucks. 
Okay. I still don't know what the hell to do with this mini game. I just don't know what it wants me to like. What, what am I supposed to interact with to make progress here? Have I not explored the floor enough? I'm just so con. Did I not go back to the right room to like strategize or whatever? I'm hella confused. Oh, I actually do go back in the room. It didn't have an interactive thing. I just walk in there. Our girls go out onto the floor, total three times serve customers. Each service is followed by a break period. And during that time, you can train your hostess of choice and coordinate their appearance. Okay. I see. Okay, so... She needs to be drop-dead gorgeous. Right now, she's cute. I see. I see. I see. So she needs to be gorgeous. I get it. Weird, but I get it. How do I know what it actually does? Nice and clean. Classier. Elegant. Relaxed. I just don't know how we get her gorgeous, you know? And does the color really matter? What I give her what if I give her like red ass hair? You can really just change shit. How do you know, like, what this is messing with, though? I'll just stick with the red lipstick. I like the red. Accessories. Cute. I feel like it should show the stats on the screen. I feel like I'm missing flashy, cute, D gorgeous nails. That's what you want. Gorgeous. High class, ornate. A watch. Gorgeous watch. Fuck, that's expensive. Jesus. I guess we're going to continue with this outfit, even though I don't have any idea. Okay, we've skewed more towards gorgeous and flashy, at least. I didn't really know how you're supposed to know that. But okay, I guess we'll try another round. This mini game is very finicky, but okay. Now she doesn't have any customers. Sipping drinks with a gorgeous girl. Nothing sounds better. I just have to have a gorgeous girl out there, man. How the hell am I supposed to make her more gorgeous? I don't understand. How do I skew it toward gorgeous? I don't understand. It's not telling me how to do this. Gorgeous hairstyle. Loose curls, maybe? Give her some eyeliner? I don't fucking know. I don't even know anymore, dude. I'm done with this mini game. I I can't wait till this is done. <laughs> I already kind of like I'm over it. I don't like it that much. I find like it's very like it's missing the fun factor.
I'm just dressing up a girl and hoping she has the right stats. Wow, I, f I made all her shit bigger. I just want her gorgeous to go up, but I don't know how to skew it a certain way, dude. I just don't. Does she have a customer at least? Shit, yeah, she does. Let's fucking go. Seems to be keeping herself occupied. Good. Do we actually have to, like, do anything? Or are we just out here to make sure she got occupied? And Basically, all the people want right now is gorgeous girls. I never talked to a truly gorgeous girl. She's so gorgeous. I want gorgeous. Give me gorgeous. Like, that's what they're all saying. Anyway, I'll probably get some money since I actually had uh, her have a, a customer. Way to go, Hokim-san. You've really got a nice aesthetic there, and I know for a fact that customers notice, too. Keep up the good work, and you'll be number one in no time. Thanks for your support. Of course. We got hosts got to stick together, you know? Kiryu-san. Hokim-san's rank went up. I can tell you've both been putting a lot into it. Keep up the excellent work. Great work today. Let's aim for the next milestone. I'm not doing this minigame again for a while, because that was not very fun. She only got requested once, but hey, we did it. We made no dollars. But hey, whatever. And the whole point is to get her to like move up and I guess maybe level up a little bit, but right now we didn't get shit. I don't like that minigame very much. I'm not going to lie. I'm not a big fan of it. I'm not going to probably play that one too often. I just, I don't find it particularly interesting. Damn, there's still another question mark on the map. Well, I've already done all the ones that I've seen so far. We're going to just keep doing them. If you're going to keep throwing them at me, I'm going to go keep doing them. I found Diagon Alley, y'all. Diagonally. What kind of store is this? What's up, player? Awamo Miguri. Okay, this guy sells alcohol. Okay, noted. Arigatou gozaimashita. Mr. Mr. Alcohol Mahal man. I just want to. I'm trying to find like a shop that just sells regular shit. Oh, this is the taxi guy. Where do you want to go? Where do you go, go, go? The golf course. Do, 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 do. I'll go there soon. But first we have, have another side quest. Do, 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 do. Ryudo family office. Okay, so that's where the family office is at. All right, well, I guess we're just trying to find this question mark on the map, which is over around the way. I gotta go around. It's fine. We're exploring. We're learning our way around Okinawa. It's all good. Nah, the Gilligan's Island reference did not go over my head, uh, Frog. I just don't know... Like, are you saying the difference between Marianne and, and Ginger is, like, cute versus gorgeous? Is that what you're saying? Like, that's what that's pertaining to? No. I can tell you're not just some guy up the street. You got some real fine eyes. You're a real player, aren't you? Well, I got a great place I'd like to show you. Follow me if you're interested. Uh, uh, sure? Yeah, lead the way. You won't regret this. Follow me. It's right through this door. Is this fucking Shogi or something? I don't want to play Shogi. What is this place? Some kind of gambling ring. Ugh. It's a gambling hall. The perfect place to cut loose and have some fun. Yeah... I don't really want to play Oicho, Kayabu, Silo, Koi Koi. I don't want to play any of these games. I'm out. I'm out. But see ya. Nice to know ya. But I gotta move on. Move on. Nice to know ya. Huh? All right, here we go. Stop giving me the run around, man. You're the wrong. You're in the wrong here for owing all this money, and now you're gonna pay. Please, not my Abu Mori. It's the only thing keeping my family going. Fine, then I'll just take the land you're sitting on instead. Bring out the deed now. <laughs> what? 
But my ancestors, that was just a still regenerations ago. I can't just hand it over like that. A deed? Huh? Maybe this is something to do with that resort development deal. You. What's going on here? You mentioned a land deed. <laughs> Please help me. This guy's after my Awamori. Huh? I don't know who you are or where you came from, but you just better stay out of our business. If this has something to do with got the resort development, then I'm afraid it's my business too, bitch. I've taken somewhat of an interest in that issue. Huh? I ain't talking about my resort. This chump owes me a fat stack of cash. I was just telling him that if he ain't can't pay up, then he can make good on his debt by giving me the deed to his land. So that's what this is about. Ah, uh, this is going nowhere. I'll let you off the hook today. Either pay up in full or bring me that deed. Your choice. Did I ever kick Hashimoto's ass? Nah. That's oh. actually what we're on the way to do right now, Frog. And then I got sidetracked by side stories, which, you know, that's Yakuza in a nutshell. <laughs> Thank you so much. You saved me from that brute. Not really. Sounds like you're still going to have to pay off that debt. Yeah, of course. I did borrow all that money after all. But I didn't have a choice. If I hadn't taken out that loan, the distillery would have gone belly up. You run a distillery? That's right. It's a bar nearby where we, we make our own local spirits. Awamori, if you never heard of it. Oh, and my name is Matsushima. Kiryu. <sighs> Good meeting you, Kiryu-san. A few years back, I borrowed 20 mil to try and expand my business. Compete with the other big distilleries in town, you know. And I take it the investment didn't pay off. Actually, it was a resounding success. But we aged our Awamori for years to create the perfect flavor. Turns out, the deadline to pay back those loans came around while this most recent batch is still aging. When was the deadline? <sighs> it's actually not for another year still, but now they're saying if I don't pay back the full $20 million in a week, I'm going to have to hand over the distillery. That's absurd. Don't you have a contract? About that, I looked over the fine print. It did say the lender has the right to demand repayment before the deadline. That's how they get you. Still, only a week? They must be really in a hurry. If only I had another year, I could pay it back for sure. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, that's when the all more will be ready for the market. I'll be able to pay off my debt, no questions asked. I tried to explain it to the loan shark, but he kept insisting I pay them right now. Maybe if I could find that heirloom grandpa told me about. Huh? What's this about an heirloom? Oh, just something my grandfather mentioned on his deathbed. He said if I was ever in trouble, I could sell our extremely valuable family heirloom for extra cash. But I don't have the slightest idea where it is, or if it even exists for that matter. I've heard that story before. Most family heirlooms don't end up being the windfalls people expect them to be. Why don't you talk about the talk, why don't you talk to that loan shark again? Try to explain the current situation. That might be better than putting all your eggs in this heirloom basket. He already knows my situation. That's why he's demanding I pay now. He just wants to steal the distillery from me and the stock of Awamori we have aging. That'll net him way more than just the twenty million I owe. That must have been his goal from the beginning, then. Set up the contract, then go back on it and take not just the distillery, but the booze, too. Ah, <laughs> uh, the family heirloom's my only hope. Apparently, it's buried somewhere on the beach near some orphanage. Evening Pride, I think it's called. Something like that. Wow, it's buried on the beach where I live. Wait, you mean Morning Glory? Oh, yeah, that's the one. You know it? Know it? I run the place. Never guessed there'd be buried treasure nearby, though. What luck! Fate must have brought us together. Please, would you consider helping me find this precious heirloom? I'll make it worth your time, I promise. Let's save it, bro. Awamori's an essential part of Okinawan culture, so I don't stand chant. I won't stand just stand by while you get threatened. Let's find that heirloom. Thank you so much. I can't believe you're really so willing to help a stranger like me. You're too kind. Thank me once we found the thing. So, you have any other clues that could help us find this heirloom? I do, actually. Our family has a special song that tells us where the heirloom is hidden. The sound of crashing waves upon the sand so hot, a golden foam flows over the sacred turtle spot. Sound of crashing waves upon the sand so hot, a golden foam flows over the sacred turtle spot. Okay. The sound of crashing waves must mean it's near the ocean. Makes sense. That would be the beach in front of the morning glory. Yeah, that's definitely the place my grandpa mentioned to me. The problem is the second line, a golden foam flows over the sacred turtle spot. I think golden and turtle must be big hints, but I've got no idea as to what it means. Me neither. For now, I guess we'll just take a look near Morning Glory. Yeah, let's do that. Would you mind waiting here a moment before we head out? Why? 
I need to check on some of the our mori in the distillery to make sure it's all aging properly. When you're in the middle of this situation, you sure are passionate about your work. I may not make the best business decisions, but I'm damn good at making fine alcohol. In that case, stay here and keep an eye on your stock. I'll go look for the treasure on my own. Thanks for being so understanding. If you find anything, please just call my cell. My number's 555-292-6674. That's 555-Awamori. You couldn't tell. Right. I'll let you know what I find. All right, so we got to go get this damn turtle. Or look by this damn turtle seafoam golden bullshit to get this shit. We'll figure that out later. Quickly, T and Boba. Yamashase. Yamashase. Uh, yo, let me get one of those boba milk teas, Beezy. Don't mind if I do. Give me that. Girl, I want to drink that. Mmm. Arigato gozaimasu. Okay. Uh. So all the question marks on my map are now finally gone. <sighs> what is the C on the map, though? Hold up. What is the C? Coin lockers. Coin lockers? Interesting. I think it's about time we went to this damn golf course, if you ask me. You know what else I wanted to check? Sub story list. How many of these have I done, dude? Holy moly. I've done... Apparently, I've done four of them. And I have six of them open. One of them's the hostess outfit thing, which I hate. And the other one's this distillery that I'm already working on. Interesting. I'm not... I'm, I'm not... I guess I'm... I should say, I'm not really surprised. What is this music coming from? Oh, shut up. I'm gonna beat your ass, irate thug. I was trying to figure out where this music's coming from. Um, what was I gonna say? I mean, I'm trying to decide if I like how the sub stories are in this game. They seem very, like, very short and straightforward, which is nice because that means I won't get sidetracked for too long doing them. But it also means they're not as interesting as previous games, you know? So I guess you take the good with the bad. I also feel like I'm whooping some ass with this shit. Come here, bitch. All right, you want to stay on the ground? You get stomped out. Just how it goes. All right, you better give me my money. Give me my money. Who this guy over here? Hello. What's up, dude? Huh. Okay. Okay. I've heard of the police. Uh -huh. Okay. So this is just... I should remember that one. I'm over at the Cabaret Club. Something about Tonka 10. 10 Ton 10. I'm just curious what some of these people are. Although, I'm about to take a taxi. Because we're about to go to motherfucking... Golf course! Let's go. Very well, sir. To the golf course. Ding, ding. School's in, bitch. Welcome to the non-U country club. What's up, dude? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Welcome, sir. Are you a member of our club? Well, no. I, uh... Ah, so you're a visitor. Do you have a guest pass? Uh... My deepest apologies, sir, but this is a highly exclusive club for local businessmen and government officials only. If you don't have an invitation from a current member, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. I'm very sorry, sir. Damn it. How am I ever going to find Akasaka if I can't even get in the club? Oh, no. If you'll allow me to intrude. Hmm? I hear you don't have a guest pass. Yeah, I didn't realize this was a private club. In that case, why don't you join me for a couple of holes? Really? I was actually meant to meet a friend here, but it seems he won't be showing up. I suppose he had some last-minute business to attend to. I'm not too fond of playing by myself, though, so if you wouldn't mind joining me, I'd be glad to have you along. And who are you exactly? Ah, <laughs> uh, where are my manners? My name is Akasaka. Wow. Of course it is. You mean from the city council? Ah, uh, I take it you've heard of me. May I ask your name? It's Kiryu. Well then, Kiryu-san, shall we play? Yeah, let's do it. Talk about luck. This is the perfect chance for me to get closer to Akasaka. He'll be my new best friend. Oh shit, we actually have to play golf right now? Uh-oh. Okay. 
Um, oh boy, this is gonna be fun. Let's go. I'll take the first shot if you don't mind. Be my guest. Be our guest, be our guest, play some golf with the best. LB and RB to change shot direction. Wow, this is like a legit golf game right here. Change club by using it up and down on the R. Got it. Press Y to change the shot range to half the distance. Use up and down to change the impact point. Some points will put spin on the ball. I got you. Makes sense. Makes sense. Hold on A to build shot power. Release A to set the shot power. After setting the power, press A just as the cursor is aligned with the ball to deliver the optimal impact. I see. Okay. It's one of these kind of golf games. Good times. Here we go. Hey, you're pretty good. I'm not sure I'd go that far. The wind's just been blowing in my favor today, that's all. Do you golf often, you son? Not really, no. Ah, uh, well, practice makes perfect. Right. Okay, well, let's fucking, let's golf it out, player. Sorry, I want to I wanna aim over, over here, I guess. The hole's over there, so we're going to aim over there. We're going to aim over there. We're going to use the biggest... We're going to use the biggest wood. The biggest wood, y'all. Or whatever gets me the most yardage. Oh, yeah. We're going one wood all day, baby. One wood all day, baby. Okay. Uh, I think I'm just going to hit it straight on. Let's go. <laughs> Boom! shock lock food boy! That was a beautiful shot, except for that it went right into the tree. Oops. Sorry, text message, hold on. All right, so that was a terrible shot. Why did it go so far into the trees? I know it's windy, but Jesus. I don't understand why it went so far into the fucking trees, but okay, we'll uh, we'll just aim it more this way and we'll try again. Hmm. Oh. Oh shit! Well, that actually ended up being a pretty good shot. No, no, no. I'm good. Wait, no, no, no. I didn't want to re... Oh, man. I didn't mean to retry that one. I was fine where that went, actually. Whatever. Mm. That one I didn't like. I'm confused why... Mm. I'm... Am I doing this wrong? What's happening? Hello? Hmm. What is it? I I don't understand why that worked perfectly that time. You know what? That's fine. I'll take it. No, I'm taking it. I'm taking that one. I'm taking that one. That's fine. It's fine. I'm terrible at the golf. Let's just fucking do it. All right, we only need to go 27 yards. 27 yards. Put some backspin on it. 30 yards. This is a putter though. I think we'll half it. How do we half it? The Y button. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. All right, here we go. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, I'll take I'll I'll take that shot again. That was terrible. Hmm. Wow. Uh, can we do that one again? I like that it's giving me more tries because I'm terrible. Hmm. Yeah, I would like to try that again. Thank you. 
There we go. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out how this controls. No, no, I like that. I like that one. All right. So I guess we can stop stop spinning the dang camera. I keep trying to use the joystick. All right. I'm just going to aim for the hole. Fuck it. You guys ready for this? I'm going to putt the fuck out of it. Wait. I only need to go... I only need to go fucking four yards with this, so here we go. Uh, hmm. Oh, the putt doesn't have the fucking pullback. No, no, let me do that again. Let me do that again. Hmm. Okay. Let, let me do that again. This is the lamest round of golf ever because it lets me do things again, but at least I, I, I'm, I'm just learning, okay? I'm just a boy who's learning. Oh, I hit that way too hard. I, You know why I hit that too hard? Because I forgot to do the half power. Damn it. I keep forgetting to do the half power. It keeps resetting me every time, and I'm not paying attention. Hmm. Boo! Oh! I feel gypped. I'm doing it again. I feel gypped. Hmm. Ooh, birdie! Hmm. With, like, ten shots. <laughs> That should not have counted, but you know what? It counted. So screw you, video game. I did it faster than this guy. Suck on your par, bitch. Wow, Kiri, you saw it in your form. It's fantastic. Oh, is it? It's fantastic? Sure it is. After 20 shots. Me? I don't think so. Ah, no need to be modest. You're a real natural. I forgot what voice I was even doing for this guy. I think I was giving him more of a posh thing. Shall we head home? Head to the next hole. Sounds good. Okay, so so far I'm winning because I'm the champion of the world. Easy game. Say, what sort of work do you do, Kiryu-san? I run an orphanage called Morning Glory. Wow, taking care of all those children is quite a task. It's not easy, sure, but nothing makes me happier than seeing the smile. Also, pickle, if you gotta go, you have a good night, my friend, and I will talk to you later. <laughs> That's wonderful. I'm glad to know you enjoy your work here, you son, and what vital work it is. Now let's get this whole started. Let's get this party started. Quickly, right? Ooh, this is a 126 yarder, I see. In that case, we're gonna go ride forward. Stop using the freaking camera. You don't, or the, the joystick. You don't use the joystick for this freaking minigame, man. You just don't. All right, it's going to pull me that way a little bit, so we're just going to go full on magic, baby. Here we go. Boop. Oh. Ooh, that was actually a pretty fucking slick shot, baby. Nah, nah, nah. We good. Ooh, this boy over here getting birdies. Okay. Lucky for me. I get multiple shots at this because I'm a fucking pleb. It's only two yards. Okay, fair enough. Hmm. Ooh, it goes the other way. I didn't realize it was going to go the other way. I don't know why. Hmm. Booyah, motherfucker. Hmm. That's a birdie. Let's go. It's the worst birdie I ever heard. Speaking of the orphanage, Kiryu-san, how many kids do you have there? Nine. All in elementary school. And you take care of them all by yourself. Do you have any helpers? Nope. But the oldest girl, Haruka, takes on a lot of that responsibility. She'll be starting sixth grade next month. And the chores are divided up between all the kids. Everyone has to help out. How wonderful. Too many kids these days sit around watching TV while their parents do all the work. Now, shall we head to the next hole? Uh, sure. I'm gonna win this, dude. I'm gonna fucking win this. As a professional Kiryu-san, what are your thoughts on the youth of today? Well, things were definitely different when I was a kid. But with how drastically the world has changed, I guess that's not too much of a surprise. I'd say the real problem is that we spoon-feed everything to kids nowadays. There's no room for imagination anymore. Back in my day, we'd come up with games we could all play together when we were bored. And since we had lots of kids of different ages, we had to make rules that were fair to everyone. We didn't want to exclude anyone just because of their age or ability. It was through these those playground games that we first learned about cooperation and what it means to help others. These days, though, 
It's all about video games and the internet. From what I hear, most kids would rather stay in their rooms and go outside and play. Too true, too true. Ah, true, we didn't have any of those luxuries when we were young. Children nowadays certainly have it good, but in a way, I feel sorry for them. Bowling seems to have grown more prevalent as well. I will admit, it's always been present. But incidents appear to be even more malicious recently. Perhaps the children of today lack basic consideration for their fellow students. Looks like it, yeah. We're gonna get to the heart of the issue. Bullying, which is what we're here for. Woot, 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 woot. All right. Uh, looks like we're going straight on with this one, huh? 310 yards. Watch it. I don't understand this. I still don't. It's like ridiculous sometimes. Oh, bounced off the tree. Boo! Try it again. Uh, how did it? Did I hit it too far? Like what happened there? Hello? I might have hit it too far. Well, that was definitely not what I wanted. <laughs> And that was definitely not what I wanted. Mm. Oh, I am overshooting it. I see. I'm definitely overshooting it. Okay. Mm. Dude, why are you slice? Come on, man. Mm. Just keep it in bounds. Good lord. Alright, maybe I need to tone it down one. Like this one, and then just crack that shit. Let's try that. I'm actually okay with that. I'm okay with that. He basically had to do the same shit, so I'm okay with that. 100 yards. Drive the ball 100 yards. <clears throat> that was terrible. <clears throat> okay. That was better, but I forgot to do half power. <clears throat> there we go. Exactly what I was going for. Perfect. Gotta love our first game of golf having do-overs forever. It's the best. Wow, this guy sucks. It's a par four, and he's about to take his fifth shot. He sucks. What a sucky, sucky man. I'm talking shit. I shouldn't be talking shit. <laughs> Ooh, it curved the other way. I was not expecting that. Oh, shit. I forgot to do half power. Oops. My bad. I keep forgetting to do that shit. Hmm. Ah! Fuck off. I got this. Hmm. Shit, I forgot to do half power again. Motherfuck it. Press Y before you take the shot, dude. Hmm. Poof. Oh, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. He got a bogey. All I got to do is get par. <laughs> Boom. Par. I'm okay with <laughs> this. Kill you, son. I have another question about your children, if you don't mind. How do they spend their free time? Well, we don't have any computer or any games. So, for the most part, they all play together outside. All the older kids really look after the younger ones, too. It's like we're one big family. That sounds lovely. Would it be alright if I paid you a visit sometime? Of course. I'd be glad to have you. Well then. Are we done? Thank God. I think we're done. I won, guys. Negative two for the win. Get fucked, dude. I cheated. Only because I could cheat. Otherwise, that never would have happened. That was one of the worst games of golf I ever played. <laughs> in a video game. Anyway, I have to thank you for the match, Kiryu-san. Golf isn't much without an enjoyable conversation to go with it. I hope y'all have the chance to stop by your orphanage sometime soon. And I mean that sincerely. We'd love to have you. Perhaps there's even some way the city could support all the charitable work you do for those children. If you ever need anything, please feel free to give me a call. I'll do everything within my power to help you. 
I appreciate that, Akasaka-san. Oh. Very well, though. See you later. Oh. oh, and before I forget, I signed you up on my permanent guest list, so you'll be free to visit the club whenever you please. Perhaps we'll even play again sometime. I hope so. Okay, so now I can play golf whenever I want, bitch. Akasaka had nothing but nice things to say about the morning glory. I bet that'll make Shiro feel better. Yeah, so now we can fuck up Hachimoto or whatever his name is real nice. Fucking fuck his shit up. I'm ready. Are we clear? Like, is the map cleared off? I'm good. Let's just head back to the dang orphanage. Go tell Shiro about the situation. Uh... How do I get back there? Oh. I'm going back to morning glory. Morning glory. Taking the subway to the glory, baby. To the subway to the glory, baby. Going subway. Glory, baby. To the subway. Going glory, baby. Whoa. Let's meet at Turtle Rock after school tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> what are we going to play? Wow, this kid's got a big head. Turtle Rock, huh? Turtle Rock, huh? Turtle Rock. Oh, Akasaka-san. Wow, he's just here already? Good to see you again, Kira-san. Why am I going old man voice all of a sudden? I told you I'd stop by, didn't I? Yeah, though I wasn't expecting it to be so soon. <laughs> Once again, I idea crosses my mind. Once an idea crosses my mind, I simply have to see it through as soon as possible. Tai Chi in the house. Yo, Uncle Kaz. Hey, you forgot to say hello to our guest. Take your shoes off before you go inside. Hi, Uncle Kaz. We're home. You two have a good day at school? Uh hmm. Oh, a guest. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Hi, mister. Konnichiwa. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> hello there, kids. Come on, Isumi chan. Okay. <laughs> Such energetic kids. Indeed. Tadaima. Oh god, looks like he got He got Next time, you'll definitely be ちゃんと挨拶もしっかりできて気持ちのいい子だ。おい。あんたが気流だな。この子供にあんたはどういう教育してるんだ。見ろ。喧嘩で朝だらけだ。どうしてくれるんだ。ああ、橋本さん。お
How was school? Yeah. Good. Are the others back already? Yeah. They got home a while ago. Shiro, too? I hope he's okay. Don't worry, Haruka. Shiro's gonna be just fine. Really? That's a relief. I was so worried when I heard he was getting bullied. But I'm glad everything's gonna be okay. Me too. Well, I better get go get dinner started. Be careful with the knives. Remember when this game was remember when this game series about was about being a gangster and whooping ass all the time? I mean I know we did that when we were walking around town, but look at us now, dude. Look what Yakuza has been I shouldn't say I was gonna say reduced to, but it's not reduced. It's just different. It's not bad. It's just so different. I guess it does look a bit like a turtle. Better give Masashima a call. Turtle rock. Da -da -da, you can't stop. What's it? What's it? Hello, Matsushima speaking. Let's cure you. I found a rock on the beach that looks like a turtle. What? Really? Yeah. It's out in front of the morning glory. Come see for yourself. Of course. I'll be right there. Let's see if we can find this heirloom, y'all. I guess it does look like a turtle. If this is the one mentioned in the song, then this is the sacred turtle spot. The treasure's got to be right under this rock. Let me a hand cure you, son. It's digging time. Wow. I like our options. We can dig or we can dig. But I think I'll just dig instead. Here goes nothing. Oh, oh I see something. Keep digging. Uh, I, mm, I'm trying to decide. I'm weighing my options. I think I'll just keep digging, though. Can't back down now, motherfucker. Hmm? I think it's some sort of pot. Please keep digging. <sighs> I guess I'll just dig even deeper. You're mine, treasure. Oh. What the? There it is. Kiryu-san. An Awamori pot? I see. A golden foam must have been Awamori foam. After all, top-notch Awamori produces a beautiful head of foam when you distill it. So this big family heirloom you were after is just a bottle of liquor? I don't think this will help you pay off your debt. Don't you see, Kiryu-san? This isn't any old bottle of liquor. It's an extremely old bottle of liquor. This Awamori is distilled in the ninth year of the Meiji era, which makes it over 130 years old. 130 years, huh? I'm not sure it's a miracle you seem to think it is. But it is! It is! Right now, the oldest intact Awamori is in the whole world is just 140. We're nipping at their heels. Can't put a price tag on a vintage like that. So your ancestors crafted this masterpiece, then buried it to keep it safe. No wonder your family treated it like some kind of sacred treasure. And because all its years have been spent underground, it's extremely well preserved. I don't see any cracks either. Still, I'm not sure it's worth 20 million I owe. Huh? Hey, Matsushima, you trying to skip town or something? Mm. Yeah, don't tell me you're following me here. What's that you got there, eh? An Aomori pot? Well, the truth is... You shit me? 130 years old? Assuming the date etched on the pot is correct. Yes. How about that? My boss is always going on about wanting to get his hands on a 100-year-old vintage. Is that what you're at while you're after my distillery? <laughs> <laughs> you could say that. But hey, I got a deal for you. Hand over the Aomori and we'll all square on your debt. Huh? You'd walk away from 20 million yen just like that? Boss is gonna use this that cash to buy a pot of vintage anyway. Doing it doing it this way cuts out the middleman. And besides, you can't exactly buy a 130-year-old Awamori on the market, no matter how much cash you got. So the way I look at it, this is a pretty sweet deal. Huh. Your boss must really love this stuff. Oh. Huh. You bet. That's the only reason I don't know that's the only reason I know all this shit. You know? Matsushima san, I know it might not sound mean much coming from me, but you really do make the best Awamori. You really think so? Oh yeah. From now on, I want you to stop barring from shady fellows like me. Get yourself a solid business plan and leave all this debt nonsense behind, you hear? I will. In the meantime, get that baby over to our office. We'll settle our debt, your debt right there and then. Wow, okay. Uh. I can't believe it. I saved my distillery, and it's all thanks to you, Kiryu san. Thank you so much. You should be thanking the ancestors who buried that pot of Awamori. Here, take this. It's a special little something I found collecting dust in our family stores. You'll make way better use of it than I ever would. 
I didn't really do that much, but okay. I got a Shisa belt. Okay, cool. Well, I've got to go deliver this. Hope I see you around sometime. Later, player. And another quest down, and another quest down. Another quest bites the dust. Hadoom, cack. I got this belt, which I can probably equip. Indeed. Donut. Huh. All right, well, got a belt. I'm happy. Ooh, there's another box in the water. I'm going to go get it real quick before I go back to the house and talk to my kids. What do we got? In this wooden box we have... Aw, oh, empty box. Meiji year 9 is apparently 1877. That's the year that wine was. Okay, or that Awamori was. Good to know. Thanks for figuring that out, Frog. Appreciate it. 